Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about molecular shape and polarity. Alright, so at the end of the lessons, you should be able to explain bond polarity and dipole moment. Alright. Okay, so now we are going to look at the polarity. Okay, so polarity is related to the electronegativity of elements in the periodic table. Okay, so the most electronegative element is fluorine. And electronegativity always increase towards fluorine in the periodic table. Okay, so next we are going to look at the polar bond. Polar bond is a covalent bond between the two atoms with difference in electronegativity. And the directions of polarity of a polar bond can be symbolized by a vector quantity. And the cross end of the arrow is the positive end and the arrow head is the negative end. Okay. For example, let's look at HCl molecule. In this molecule, we can see that Cl is more electronegative than hydrogens. So in order to draw the polar bond, the directions must be from less electronegative towards more electronegative. So it's from hydrogens to Cl. Okay, next dipole moment. Dipole moment is used to measure the polarity of a chemical bond within a molecule. So it can only be measured experimentally. Dipole moment is defined as the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance that separates the center of positive and negative charge. So the equations to calculate the dipole moment is equal to charge times distance. Distance here refer to the distance between center of charge and charge here is the separated charge between positive and negative charge. We're going to look at the bond dipole and dipole moment. Okay, so for example A, this is a CO2 molecules okay and it has a linear shape okay in order to identify the polarity of any molecule you need to determine its molecular shape first okay so co2 is a linear shape And in this molecule, carbon is bonded to oxygen, okay? And since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so the directions of the bond dipole must be from carbon to oxygen, okay? So in this molecule, there are two bond dipoles and the directions of these two bond dipoles are different, okay? One's to the left and another one is to the right. So they have different directions. Since the bond dipole have different directions, they can cancel each other. Okay, and if the bond dipole can cancel each other, the dipole moment is equal to zero. And if the dipole moment is equal to zero, means that this molecule is a non-polar molecule. Okay, for example, B. This is a water molecule. And the shape of water molecules is V-shape, okay? And in this molecule, oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogens. So, the directions of the bond dipole must be from hydrogens to oxygens, okay? And there are two bond dipoles in this molecule. And both of the bond dipole are point upwards and they have the same directions. Since the bond dipole have the same directions, they cannot cancel each other. So the dipole moment is more than zero, means that it's not equal to zero. So water molecule is a polar molecule. Alright, what is polar molecule? In order to identify if it's a polar molecule, 
there must be positive and negative pole okay so for example h2o in the previous slide we have discuss the polarity of H2O and H2O is a polar molecule but for CCL4 CCL4 is a tetrahedral shape okay and we know that chlorine is more electronegative than carbon so the directions of the bond dipole must be from carbon to chlorine so there are one bond dipole that move upwards and another three bond dipoles move downwards. So since they have different directions, this bond dipole can cancel each other. So since the bond dipole can cancel each other, it has zero dipole moments. So since the dipole moment is zero, it is a nonpolar molecule. So these are all the example of nonpolar molecule where the dipole moment is equal to zero. Okay. This is CO2, and you can see that the directions of the bond the bond dipole is different. Okay. So they can cancel each other. So it has zero dipole moment. Okay. This is BF3. BF3 is a trigger planner so in this molecular shape fluorine is more electronegative than B so the directions of the bond dipole must be from B to F okay so overall the bond dipole has different directions so that means the bond dipole can cancel each other and it has zero dipole moments. Okay, the last one is CCL4. Since chlorine is more electronegative than carbon, so the directions of the bond dipole must be from carbon to chlorine. Okay, so one of the bond dipole point upwards and another three bond dipoles point downwards. So they have different directions and this bond dipole can cancel each other. Okay, so dipole moment is equal to zero, so it is a nonpolar molecule. Alright, so these are all the examples of polar molecule. So for the polar molecule, remember that the dipole moment is not equal to zero. That means the value is larger than zero. Okay. So let's look at the first example. So in this molecule, the carbon is bonded to oxygens and also hydrogens. So since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so the directions of the bond dipole must be from carbon to oxygens. Okay? And then for the hydrogens, since it's less electronegative than carbon, so the directions must be from hydrogens to carbon. Okay? So overall these three bond dipoles are point towards the same directions that is upwards. So these three bond dipoles cannot cancel each other. So the dipole moment is not equal to zero. Okay, the second one is CHCl3. For this molecule Carbon is bonded to chlorine and also hydrogens. Okay, chlorine is more electronegative than carbon, so the directions of the bond dipole must be from carbon to chlorine. But hydrogens, since it's less electronegative than carbon, so the directions is from hydrogens to carbon. So these three four bond dipoles point out towards the same directions. Okay. They are all point downwards and these four bond dipoles cannot cancel each other. So the dipole moment is not equal to zero. So that's why it is a polar molecule. The last one is NH3. NH3 molecules, hydrogen is bonded to nitrogens. Okay, so nitrogens is more electronegative than hydrogens. So in order to draw the bond dipole, you must draw the hydrogens 
from hydrogens towards nitrogens. So there are three bond dipole here and these three bond dipole are pointing towards the same directions that is upwards. Okay, so they cannot cancel each other. The dipole moment is not equal to zero and this is a polar molecule. Okay, that's it.